of the first things you'll get is the 8130. Okay, you'll, you'll either get an 8130, sometimes the manufacturer will just send you a packing list which gives you the model and serial number. You just want to make sure you have the serial number. So one of the things I do is I will take this paperwork and I'll say, okay, I have a part number and I have a serial number. I need to make sure that that serial number matches the serial number on the box, but more importantly, the serial number on the unit. And this is that little black folder I was telling you about. Registration card and then instructions. And basically, when you open this up, it'll literally have a little card in it with a key code like a computer. When you get a new computer, it has the key code to activate everything. It's the same thing. Um, you'll get the, um, the installation kit, which I think this is different than the experimental. If you buy one of these experimental, the only thing in the box is the G5 indicator. You don't get this. You don't get the battery, but the certified one under the STC, you've got to have the backup battery, and of course you got to install it in accordance with the install kit. So on the back of this, this is the front, this is the back, and you know you have your 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 nine pin connector, the GPS antenna source, then you'll have uh, pedo at the top and static at the bottom. That's and if this is an attitude indicator that does not have an autopilot or anything hooked to it, it's pretty simple installation. You're going to plumb these two to the respective pedo and static um, systems. You're going to run the GPS coax and connect it here, and you're going to run a power and a ground wire. It's designed to go in a standard three and an eighth round hole. So when you take the old attitude indicator out, which is typically a three and an eighth inch diameter hole with four screw holes, you take this bracket and you take these three screw holes here, they will line up with your existing screw holes. You put that in there and then it has this little receptacle that this little pin here slides into and this threads into the other end here to lock it into the panel and, and then it's done.